those silly Beatles albums that are coming well, out. Don't, I'm tired of everybody being down <laughs> on everything. I really, really am. It, it gets old. It's uh, not silly. They're the American albums, and they haven't been in print since, like, 1985. Oh, what? It, it's not a bad thing that they're putting them in print again. Boy, it's a bad thing with when you look at the price on them, though. Holy well, yeah, the price is ridiculous. I'm not interested, but for anybody that's interested, go yeah. ahead and buy them. Go that's buy them. All yeah. I, I watched um, uh, the only video I've seen on uh, Matt Williamson did one today. Um, mm -hmm. I watched and commented on, but yeah, it's uh, mm -hmm. breaking it's, news well, for, for guys like me. I've, i well, I've got the Canadian stuff anyway, yeah. but. Yeah. They're all mint and they're You're all the so yeah. I've got like like they don't really offer me anything. No, no. get the big the thing, get the Beatles story in it. Where where I have where I have where I live it won't happen, but I think it would be cool if you lived in a big city with good record stores and stuff. Just yeah. be plowing through the bins and actually see sealed American Beatle albums in there. I mean that to me that would that's the coolest thing about well, it. Matt, Matt read read that a, for years. Matt read a press release and he said and it said some of them are gonna be released individually. Well what's that mean some of them? All, all of them except um Beatle story, Beatle story mm -hmm. which Nobody would buy it anyway, so I don't know. You know, um, the other Target even Target even is doing an exclusive on blue vinyl of um, Meet the Beatles. So is the Hard Day's Night on United Artists, or is it on Capitol? Yeah. It's on United, at least the labels are United Artists. I'm sure you know whoever's mm -hmm. making it's making it, but well, everything know, like, original interstates and everything. You guys um, might know better, but in Canada, Capital Canada bought United Artists. Mm -hmm. So oh, after a while, A Hard Day's Night was coming out on the Capital label. Well, it came out on Capital here, too, in the late okay. 80s. So they probably, like they probably yeah. uh, Capital U.S. probably bought United Artists as well. Then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, a lot of people don't know, but in America, Let It Be was distributed by United Artists as well. Yeah. So, which is why it went out of print. Why it's the only Beatle album ever to go out of print because it, United Artists, you know, they got sold. I think is when it went out of print. Um, yeah, well, they had the rights to the movies, so they got it. Yeah, yeah. Well, most people in America think that that's a Capitol album, and it's not. See, in Canada, the United Artists. Well. They didn't have the rights to the, they had the rights to the movie, but not the album. Yeah, yeah. I think the United States was the only country in the world, and it was because of the contract they signed in America. They still owed them two movies. So Alan Klein says, I'll tell you what, we'll give you one movie and a soundtrack. And they said, okay, deal. And that's yeah. why they got the soundtrack to end the Beatles movie contract with the United mm -hmm. Artists. Yeah, because there weren't going to be more movies at that point. No, no. Yeah. So that that's why it came out in United Artists in America. Oh, but now you can get the Beatles' first U.S. visit. Yeah. What 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 is that now? Mm -hmm. That's uh, I've got that on VHS. That's yeah, that's a doc that documentary, that documentary came out. The, the Apparently, movie. they're sprucing it up and maybe adding yeah. footage. I don't know what they're doing. Yeah, but it's a documentary on the sixty-four. Is this a uh, like a Peter Jackson thing where they're gonna, you know, oh, remaster yeah. it or something? Or? Yeah, they're not, gonna remaster it, but it doesn't take Peter Jackson to remaster it. It's mm -hmm. not too bad. It was. It's about. A, I can't remember how long it is. Was it an hour long or something? I don't know. Yeah, I, I think it's gonna be. I think they're expanding it a little bit. And yeah. Like, who knows what else? And obviously, well, I think it might be like as a history document. It might be. Neat. Yeah. Yeah. But I've got it on VHS. I bought it as part of a box set that had um, oh, what to have it. It had Hard Day's Night, Help. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. And I think it had Magical Mystery Tour in it mm -hmm. as well. I've got it on DVD somewhere. Uh, yeah, mine was on VHS. I, I have it on DVD right here. Yeah, that, that's it. That's what I got. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So, like, how, like, how much sprucing up can you do to this? You know what? Yeah. 
it's basically news footage, right? Well, they figure they can make money. Well, no, off it's not news footage. They they had a guy. It's it's a little like um that Dylan film that came out a oh, year right. later. They had people following them around, and there's hotel room footage, and you oh, know yeah, they, yeah. the Maple Brothers. That stuff. You know, it's a it's a real documentary. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah, that's the best they, part. Maybe they've talked to those guys. Maybe they're still around and they've given them more footage. I don't know. I have Ooh. no idea. But, but isn't this supposed to be on Blu-ray now? Yes. Coming up? It's coming out on Blu-ray. Well, well, after it's going to play in theaters. After it's done playing in theaters, it's going to come out in Blu-ray. Yes. Yeah. Well, it said November. I think that's when it's coming out in theaters, actually. Mm -hmm. Oh, so all this breaking news is not necessarily correct. Well, that's what I've heard. I don't know. You know, I just listen to the same things. No, there's, else. there's more news about those albums than there is about that movie. Mm -hmm. Well, again, I think the albums is a good thing. And I, again, I think it'd be cool to go in a record store and go to the Beatles and look, here's a sealed copy of something new. How long since I've seen that? That I think yeah. it's cool. Doesn't necessarily mean I'm gonna buy them. I have I have them all. I have nice copies of almost all of those. Mm -hmm. but, We're getting old. We we need food. <laughs> oh, it's it's again, it, it, guys. I it's think fun. this was my take on it. I think this is more for other countries like Australia and the UK, where if you're a huge beetle collector, it's really hard to find the u.s processings in other countries now you can buy i i kind of think it's for the international market or for first-time buyers what's the uh what's the price in the US and US dollars how much how much is it there the box yeah. the box is 300 bucks on the beatles website 300 us yeah 300 even yeah, two well two ninety nine ninety nine. Yeah, three hundred. It's it's five twenty nine ninety nine. Wow. So that's wow. a lot more than three hundred US. Yeah, yeah. Well, the albums are thirty bucks a piece, which by Probably today's probably. standard in records isn't that yeah. bad. The blue vinyl tar the blue vinyl at Target's thirty five bucks. Right. Um, but that's on uh, U Music, which used to be U Discover. They changed their name again, but um, nonetheless, I, I couldn't even find it on Amazon. Mm -hmm. So it might not be there yet. Um, it probably they just, they it just announced it yesterday, so it might not. You know. Yeah. See, it only makes sense for us to buy in Canada because by the time you pay shipping and we yeah would yeah no I, I get it, but at that if, price see, we're going to I don't I don't have any interest in the box set. Are I they going to be on the album or two if they ever if I ever found them cheap, you know? But I'm not, yeah. I'm not interested in. Are they going to be on the original like uh, Capital Swirl and the Apple? Yeah, and yeah. Everything's going to look. The, everything's going to. I don't That's know if they're going to be, you know, paper posted on cardboard covers like the original. But they're even mm -hmm. coming with duplicates of the original inner sleeves. Oh, okay. You know, it's the, okay. whole, it's the whole yeah. so the United Artists one is gonna have an original United Artist, what looks like an original United Artist in their sleeve. You know, they're doing it right. And they're doing the mono, which I agree with too, because the stereo albums are a mess. So I agree that they're doing the mono. That's a good thing. I can't yeah, look at American stereo. Ways to cut the oh. day, yeah. Well, right. yeah, the, 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 they've got a, an old lathe that they purchased in 1981. Oh, yeah. and they, we're getting uh, 71, and that's what they're using to cut. Oh, hey, we're getting screwed in Canada. Like, if it's two ninety nine ninety nine in the U.S., that's equal to four hundred and seven Canadian. They're asking five hundred and thirty Canadian. See that? Yeah, yeah, you, 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 you right. yeah it's two ninety nine ninety nine on the record. Yeah. Gee, mm -hmm. yeah, which uh, people. I, I just came from Mayo Stream, and and people, everybody is the rip off, blah blah, and it and it is because if you price them out individually, you're paying at least fifty bucks more for for the box, for just the box, you know, which is <laughs> you, know, box. you know, if they're thirty bucks a piece and there's well, six of them, uh, okay, there's well, one you can't good. get, but who cares about the one you can't get? That's and that would be great. seventy. That would be sixty anyway because it's a double. So that you add all that up, and that it doesn't come up three hundred bucks. That's just yeah. outrageous. Five hundred. Yeah. Hunter, go to bed. 
Hunter. So, bedtime, Hunter. So they're they're you know they're yeah. everything's just gotten nuts. But uh, once know, again, if you, you want it, if you want it, buy it, and and you know, Maybe. nothing to Maybe say bad about. Target the uh, blue vinyl one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see, I think that I think that's cool. You know, yeah. if it if it if it was twenty five bucks and not thirty five bucks, I'd pre order it. But I don't want to spend thirty five bucks for that. I just don't. It's too much. See, in Canada, that'd be like fifty bucks, right? There. Yeah. Cool for one. Yeah, it, it, it's too much. You yeah, know, not for stuff that it shouldn't be gone. this much. You know, um, see, it's interesting in Canada because those those first three Canadian albums, the U.S. didn't have those, right? But yeah. Uh, so it wasn't until like 1967, mm-hmm. uh, between the release of Revolver and Sgt. Pepper, Capital Canada released uh, uh, Meet the Beatles and the Beatles' second album. Mm-hmm. And they deleted the first three Canadian albums from the catalog. And then before the White Album, Capital Canada, so this was 68, that's when we finally got the early Beatles. So those three albums were replaced by those three U.S. albums. And then in the early 70s, they started producing the first three Canadian albums again. So now we had all six. (laughs) The U.S. albums, you know, you know, the Canadian albums were better. Well, I don't know why they did that. They have more tracks. They're better. (laughs) Well, not only that, Tim, but the the first three Canadian albums are mastered from the original UK yeah. master tapes. Yeah, so I know that too. I know um, that you too. Go, you can't get any better than that, man. Like that's well, the, the way it was. You know, it, it, whatever. Yeah, yeah, the early Beatles is the only Beatle album I don't have in nice shape, but I don't want to spend thirty bucks for a new one. It's I've got Please Please Me. Well, like I said, I we didn't know. have that. 1968 which is kind I of i don't odd. really need it you know so I'm, yeah. and i've got introducing the beatles and you know i don't i don't really need it who so. is this dave dexter guy? no i didn't have that it, like we had our own Can- capital canada did their own master yeah. like we didn't we didn't have all that but, reverb but fake the, the, dave, the dave dexter monos aren't that bad i kind of like them they're punchy but yeah. the dave dexter the stereos are terrible but the monos aren't that bad. That's just yeah, why I'm glad you're doing mono. I can't listen to them. I, I just I because I'm used to the Canadian ones, which yeah. are much, much yeah. better. Yeah, um, but see, we I grew up with those. So there's yeah. like, there's some That's nostalgia you involved. Know. And, you, know. you know. But the uh the first three like the um twist and shout is basically please please me, but it's better because it's got for me to you on it and she loves you on it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Of course. Yeah, but, but they they also took off misery, and I saw her standing there. So they took those. Oh, off oh. And put the other two. Well, that's okay yeah. because then they put those on the Long Tall Sally album. So oh, we still yeah. ended up with them on an album. Just, yeah. Well, they they they, they took they, they took um those two songs off um the early Beatles too, Doc, and There's a Place. Yeah. <laughs> All three of those are missing from the early Beatles, which is why I don't care about that album. They took three of the best songs off the record. Yeah. yeah. They, they, couldn't get, they couldn't get rid of like the artists of Bells on a Hill and all those kind of No, no, no. They took, I see what I understand why they took I Saw Her Standing There off because that's on Meet the Beatles. I get that. But the other two, I don't, I don't really get. Especially, there's only 11 songs on it. You, you can certainly... Well, fit. Long Tall Sally, there, I think there's... Oh, I can't remember any tracks, but four of them are repeats from the, the Beatlemania album. So, and the rest is all like singles and B-sides. Mm-hmm. So it's, a, it's a pretty cool collection. It's a very unique collection. The, it, the third it, Canadian album, which was Long Tall Sally. It's probably... I've never seen it, and I don't know the track list. Well, it's got the same it's cover as, as our uh, second album. It's got the same cover as the second album. but the Yeah, track, it's probably similar to our second album. I mean, yeah, not exact, but similar. Track you know. listing is completely different. Which has a lot... Because our second album has a lot of singles and stuff like yeah. that. You know, that 
the, the missing songs are all on. track listing is really quite different than than the second album so mm -hmm. but anyway you know because we already had those tracks uh on other albums right so anyway it's interesting um but i'm not going to be paying that kind of money for no it. no no it, 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 it's 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 it, it's ridiculous so you know but again i'm not against them though it's just, but most i would say that about most records that come out now they're just too expensive and yeah, i'm not it's starting to get out of hand isn't it it, really? it is